a freelancing career. So this advice is basically for uh, totally new beginners. So this is, video is totally for beginners who are just starting out in their freelancing journey. So freelancing has become a popular career choice in recent years. More and more people are turning to freelancing as a way to make their money, right? And it's not hard to see why for one thing, you can set your own hours for another, you know, there is always work available if you know where to look. So in this video, we will discuss how easy it is to start freelancing and what steps you need to take in order to get started on the right foot. So before we get, get into the video, let me introduce myself. I'm Priyanka. So I'm founder of a physical brand called Gigi Toys which uh, where I sell wardrobe toys. So I am also the founder of Bot Savvy Marketer which is a service based business. I offer chatbot that is conversational marketing services for coaches and e-commerce brands. So this is all about me. So let's dive into the steps or tips you need to follow uh, when you are beginning your career as a freelancer. So my tip number one is be self-motivated the greatest freelancers are the ones who can you know work on their own and you know push themselves to get things done e even if they don't have a team of people around them to rely on um, you know more than anything else you need self-motivation in order for your freelance career to just stick off okay so this is my tip number one and tip number two Stay positive. Stay positive about yourself and your work. As much as it might be tempting at times, especially when faced with criticisms or rejection from, you know, potential clients, staying positive about yourself and your work is not that easy. I get that. So you'll find that uh, those moments will pass more quickly too. So by staying positive and being confident about what you do is the best, you feel better both mentally and physically. This is the tip number two, to stay positive and stay focused. Tip number three, establish a personal brand. One of the most important things to you know follow when you're building your freelance career is establishing a personal brand. So having an identity that makes it clear and what sets you apart from other freelancers is your field and lets potential client know that they can hire you with with your confidence i mean your confidence levels should be at high peak that you know only with your confidence they can hire you tip number four my tip number four is find your niche and create content for it regularly yes you heard me right so you don't want to work on every project available, right? Isn't it? You don't want to work on every project available, right? So or spend all day doing research for different types of content, you know, once you, uh, you know, uh, without knowing your niche, it, it kind of gets difficult, you know, to uh, gather uh, and, you know, research on the content and put all the content in different areas and you don't know where you're going, right? So for that, uh, once you find a niche for yourself, maybe travel blogging or restaurant reviews or something similar to, you know, or, or it could be a digital marketing, then focus on producing content for it regularly. That way people will come to rely on your expertise about this particular subject. Think about what you have already learned and then gain knowledge in that aspect. My tip number five. Tip number five is to stay focused on your goals. Even if you are, you know, feeling like uh, things are, aren't going well, don't distract yourself by trying to do too much at once or take on more projects than, you know, you uh, 
then your time doesn't allow it's important that you stay focused on the goals you set for yourself and make sure that they remain realistic because after all freelancing is just as much about self-care and it is about making money so staying focused on your one goal is really very important so do not get overwhelmed with all the opportunities you get in the process so just stay focused just with one goal tip number six my tip number six is set your rates and stick to them so what do i mean by that so be prepared to negotiate the rate you know be prepared to negotiate the rate if needed but don't lower it uh, abruptly you know just because someone wants a cheaper price tag you are worth more than that right they should they should be willing to pay what's fair enough for the quality of work you produce and the quality or the amount of time you give to them so remember this person will not be paying just once so they'll likely hire you again and again so make sure their investment pays off by making a great impression with every project undertaken together so make sure you do not lower yourself so this is my tip number six do not ever lower yourself tip number seven so my tip number seven is a uh, get acquainted with contracts and legal considerations you know before starting out as well as establishing uh, prior agreements and about pricing deadlines deliverables uh, etc etc like when you're gonna deliver those things and uh, what is the exact uh, protocol you're gonna follow and uh, what are the things you will be delivering to them everything uh, everything should be you know from day one should be very clear between you and your uh, prospective client tip number eight my tip number eight is to consider investing in some basic skills and freelance marketing services to give yourself an edge yes onboarding project management and you know uh, accounting software is often necessary for success so just build your portfolio of your work then start networking with the people start by reaching out to anyone you know that might be able to help you get started freelancing like your friends family members you know former co-workers anything anybody it could be anybody just go ask for the like uh, just tell them that uh, you have started your freelancing journey whether they'd be interested in hiring you to manage their business or not so freelancers can uh, you know use social media tools like linkedin twitter combined with you know offline activities such as attending conferences both industry specific ones or general events to build your network and find new opportunities so especially when you are uh, first starting off it's important for freelancers uh, that as a beginner you know you're looking to start your own freelancing career just remember these tips that you need to have uh, you need more of networking uh, you know when you're just starting out uh, you need more connections to be uh, to get more clients and your reference or also matter so that one client is really very important to get number of referrals for you from the value you provide to that one client so don't forget to you know um, network with some good uh, potential clients and also provide great value for the first client itself so that you know uh, they'll be able to refer you to their next you know uh, colleagues or anybody else in their network so these are my seven tips that if you are a freelancer you could immediately start with and if you want any other further details on how to start your freelancing just dm me in the comments or you know let me know in the comments i'll be more than happy to help you and if you have any other uh, uh, you know want me to speak about topics like freelancing or social media marketing or productivity habits anything it could be just comment in the sections uh, comment down below i'll be able to answer them uh, with a new video thank you so much for watching till here and if you want to see more such videos like this 
just hit that subscribe button and also click on the not notification button so that you'll be able to see all my videos so this is my first video guys so uh, do encourage me by you know uh, giving your uh, subscribe link giving some likes commenting something below so that keeps me motivated to do more and more such videos like this thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button thank you